Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning into my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you want to give this video a thumbs up, that would be super duper appreciated. And here's your thumbs up in advance back at you. We're looking at Chirrut Imwe today from Rogue One. Um, I'm so stoked to see some Rogue One characters finally starting to, you know, flesh out in super articulated form. I recently reviewed the K2SO and we have had uh, Jin and Cassian in the past. So... Uh, next one on the slate has got to be uh, Baze Malbus or Bodhi Rook, uh, so hopefully we see them uh, before long. Uh, I would also, I did a live stream last week and I said how great Director Krennic would look on a vintage card. He would look so good. Nice dark blue um, instead of the green and uh, yeah, Director Krennic in his white uniform would look sweet. So this is VC174. Um, yeah, he looks he looks absolutely fantastic, and uh, I never thought the five POA one was bad. So this one looks like it's going to eclipse that one. So let's let's open it up and have a close look. All right, so what you're looking at here is a amazing vintage collection release. This is a fantastic figure. I'm really really thrilled with this one, Chirrut Imway. Um, wow, he's just so great. Just the way I've got him posed here with his. Uh, bow rifle thing um i'd got the the 5 poa version that didn't come with this um there was a two pack with bays and chirrut that came later that did include this rifle so i'm glad to have this in the collection now just a fantastic all-round figure it's got soft goods good posability cool accessories Got his staff as well, which is nicely detailed. But yeah, that face sculpt is uh, absolutely fantastic. Really well done. And there is sort of a mismatched line on the top of his head, but a little bit of black marker will fix that up. No problems there at all. We can pivot this around. But uh, yeah, it's got, the, it's got the handle on the side. So you can have him holding it either way. That does sort of pivot around and get the angle that you want. He was just such a fantastic character. Um, it's really great to see him in the vintage collection. I'm glad they're sort of starting to fill out some of these uh, these Rogue One characters as they probably should have been released as back in uh, 2016 or early 2017 when the Rogue One stuff was coming out pretty strong. But yeah, this is a really, really cool release. I'm liking it a lot. Try not to get too close, otherwise the camera gets unhappy. can tell there's a face there, but it doesn't want to focus on it, so... Probably because I am moving a little bit too much. But yeah, really great figure, nice articulation. Again, like I said... Soft goods are cool, really nicely done. Looking forward to our uh, bays next, hopefully. Um, Bodhi, he'd be another cool one. Direct Krennic on a vintage car to be beautiful. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts and any feedback. Stay tuned because I've got some more videos coming right up. Till then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.